was an untethered child. I hate that Katy Perry described me so clearly. I was like a paper bag <laughs> twisting in the wind. I was out of control with emotions and depression and anxiety and I was afraid all the time and I was messy and I was really weird looking and developed far earlier than any little girl should have to. And so I spent the majority of my life trying to prove to myself and to the world that I wasn't what I knew myself to be broken and scared and dysfunctional. I was so reactionary and I was so messy and disorganized and I, 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 couldn't, I couldn't feel my feet on the ground. And it wasn't until my, you know, mid, late 20s, after I had moved to New York City and tried to be an actress and a singer and decided that I desperately did not want to do that, that I came back here and I married my best friend and I became a mother, according to him, about 10 years early. <laughs> it was definitely before we had planned. We call her the best surprise. She's right over there. <laughs> I had always been ugly and weird looking and 20 pounds overweight or 40 pounds overweight and awkward and I had a woman's body when I was 10 years old. I didn't believe that I could be an actress. I didn't believe that anybody even wanted to look at me. I had bad skin and crooked teeth and wore very thick glasses. After I became a mom, I started I became a vegan. I had to physically for my health. And in my early 30s, I decided to get back to performing. So I looked really good. <laughs> like, I look back at those pictures and I'm like, damn, I look good. <laughs> I waited my whole life to look that good. And so I decided I'm gonna start performing again. Not because I looked good, that was just an added bonus. I was healthy. I was actually healthy and I was tethered and I had a good marriage and I had beautiful children and I, I had gone back to college and I'd gotten good grades and I'd gotten my shit together. I'm still super messy and that'll never change, ever. Thank God for my husband, that's my dad, he's nodding his head. So, at about 32, so this was about 10 years ago, I started performing again and I got cast in an investigation discovery television show. Right? One of those reenactment shows where they talk about a crime. And so I was playing a police detective. All right? So I had my little cute hair, my short haircut, and I wore this like tight white blouse and for the first time in my life I didn't need to pin it to keep it closed. It stayed closed all by itself. <laughs> it's the little things people. I didn't have the 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 things, you know, back here. And I and I had a pair of like really nice nice fit like gray slacks and I just you know and I could not cover my ass and there was no like anything and I just was like I look good and I went there and I felt great and I learned how to do my Mariska Hargitay scowl. <laughs> I was like every sexy detective that ever lived on the planet and I learned how to handcuff somebody and I learned how to pretend like I was talking because actors don't actually talk in those things in case you were wondering. <laughs> They're just pretending to arrest people. You have to just look the part. So I looked the part. So several months went by and we DVR'd it and my dad actually DVR'd it and I went over to his house and I looked and I found it and I, I was watching it 
and I didn't know anything about it. And the woman that I was portraying popped up on the screen. And she was not very attractive at all. And I was crushed because I was a petty, shallow, sad woman who was raised in America, who learned to value her place on the planet by the size of her thighs and the clarity of her skin and the size of her boobs. And I thought, well, shit. <laughs> they looked at me and they said, we see you. We see that 10-year-old kid. We see what you are. And I turned it off and I walked away and I never spoke of it again, ever, this first time, okay? Never. And it wasn't for a very long time that I thought about that. And I was very ashamed of myself. I was deeply ashamed of that reaction. That was a disgusting and horrible reaction. I was so worried about proving myself to you and to myself that I was worthy of the world, that I was worthy to stand in front of a camera, that I completely dismissed everything about that human being because I didn't like that somebody looked at me and looked at her and said, yeah, that measures up. It never once crossed my mind that when those casting people saw me, they thought, she looks brave. She looks capable. She looks smart. She looks like she could scare the shit out of anybody who she was going to arrest. It never crossed my mind that there were things more valuable than what I looked like until very recently. This project is about that very thing. It is about changing the way that we see ourselves, that we see each other, that we see the world. It is about looking inside, accepting the shit we're ashamed of and we're scared of and that we don't look at and that we don't want to tell other people about because it's embarrassing and awful and then they'll know that we really suck. And it's about putting it out on the stage and saying, you know what, this is it. This is who I am, this is what I've lived, this is what I've learned, and you have to accept it. So, that's my story.